Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahabi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to our module 5. As uh, mentioned earlier, all the slides will be available at this link and we keep updating the slides. So whenever you go there, inshallah, you'll see the latest. Bi'idhnillah. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the culture. This may this slide may have come, I think, last module as well, but this is uh, going to be a very important thing that we will be emphasizing today. So as you recruit a team, as you uh, you know bring in new members, and for people who are watching this video to join our team or some other team, it's very important to understand how the culture would be and what would be expected of you. So, you know, I, I asked from the get go that look, you know, you need to be self disciplined, you need to be, you know, uh, able to manage your time. This is not something that we do in group. It's not like street DAO that we all go together, or it's not like event management that we all do together. You have to be able to do it on your own. Okay. So we, you know, even if you have like one or two hours a week, you know, that's a lot, inshallah, you can achieve a lot within that. But I want you to be consistent in that time. You need to be block, be able to block that time and give it for this work. You know, now, if you are someone who's signing up for, you know, all the new hypes that's coming in, this project, that project, you know, whatever new hype comes up, you sign up for it, then, you know, you are probably not a good match for this team. You know, you need to know what your priorities are, what type of work you want to commit, what type of work you are serious about, and so on and so forth. Uh, we actually, in our team, we expect you to also invest half an hour to 45 minutes in your own learning. And this is in relation to what we mentioned in the first uh, module or the second module about the risks to the du'at. You know, you becoming desensitized about the sins, you becoming desensitized and, you know, uh, not valuing the ibadah. So it's very important for you to be actually engaged in Islamic studies. And when we say Islamic studies, we don't mean that, okay, you know, you're watching, you know, debates and arguments of da'wah for 45 minutes. No, it has to be something actually Islamic studies like, you know, Quran, Tafsir, Hadith, you know, Fadail of the actions, Ibadat, of God, and so on and so forth. And so that you're also spending time in good company and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, we expect everybody to be actually updating uh, on our platform. So we use WhatsApp and we use HubSpot and we want weekly updates. So that this way we ensure that everyone is being consistent and nobody's like, you know, dropping the ball on their end. And obviously, as we mentioned earlier, the, uh, the document, the training manual is, uh, is linked below and we'll be referring to it several times today, inshallah. Okay, so now um, some of the things, uh, again, from this culture aspect. So let's say you come in, you have blocked some time, right? So you could block several slots. You could say, okay, I'm going to be available Tuesday evening, Saturday afternoon, and Sunday morning, for example. Or you can say, okay, I'm only going to be available Tuesday evening. Whatever I can do in that time, I will do it. And that's it. I won't worry about it after that. So this is very important for you to actually look at your calendar and be able to uh, block it. Okay. So after that, what you would do actually is, uh, you know, the, another thing for you as a mindset, you need to be aware of is, hey, you know what? Um, I'm using, I'm a gardener, right? So always, always remember this analogy, right? What happens is a lot of time people get like, you know, worried about, you know, the person is not responding, the new Muslim is not responding and, you know, they get worried. So I always tell them, look, you are a gardener, right? So as a gardener, what you need to do is, you know, you need to be able to go to the land, you know, assigned land in the time that you've committed, whether it be Tuesday, Saturday, whatever it is, and provide the nourishment uh, to the land. Okay, all lands will be different. Some lands would give you amazing fruit. Some land would take longer. Some land would be faster and so on and so forth. That's not what you can control, right? So, you know, you should be feeling successful, dependent on your efforts and obviously your sincerity. So don't, you know, results, if results happen, if you see some success, as we'll show some examples today, Alhamdulillah, that's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's giving you motivation, he's giving you glad news in this world. But even if no results are seen in this world, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rewarding you based on your efforts. Okay. Um, so some examples are like this, right? So, you, you know, uh, if sometime you would say, okay, how are you? Right. And the person may reply, I'm busy and stressed, lots going on. Okay, uh, you may say, well, let me know uh, when, uh, when, when you can make time, right? So if you, if you become, so you have to be very careful about how you are communicating and how you're responding because some of the responses may not, you know, generate uh, a, a response that you are looking for or that, you're, that you actually want to achieve, okay? So here are some examples, right? So you, want, you might want to confirm that, look, I understand you have lots going on. 
you know, depending on the person, you might say, I, I understand you are ambitious and there's always be exciting stuff happening, right? Uh, you might want to remind them that, look, you know what, many times the best way to deal with stress is to step out of the situation, you know, take a fresh look. So you want to like use these type of things. Another example is like, you know, you might say, look, I hope you can appreciate it. it's about making time. Look, making time for super important things that don't appear critical. Okay, so you don't think that what I'm talking about, it's, it doesn't seem urgent, it doesn't seem critical, but it's very important, right? And if you make time for it, it will have effect in all your areas. So think about it, like, you know, if someone is really busy and stressed out and, you know, if you tell them, hey, you know what, you should make some time to go out on a walk or you should make some time for exercise and say, hey, guy, I'm busy. Well, if you make time to take care of your body, it will actually have a ripple effect and it will help you to do better in the areas that you are, you know, stressed out or busy with, right? So you spending time in, on your body or going on a walk is not actually taking away time or focus from that project or whatever you're working on. Rather, it's actually going to enhance your productivity. So you need to be able to like explain those things or remind those things, okay? And then you would say, hey, you know what? Look, I just care about you, right? I know it's very important to invest time in building your relationship with Allah. When can you make time to get on a call? When can you time? When can when can you make time to meet up? Right. So now I'm saying when. So I'm asking an option, right? Instead of just leaving it open, okay? Uh, if they don't respond, say, hey, you know, how about Wednesday night? How about Saturday morning? Can we meet up? Can we have a call? Can we have a quick call? Just a five minutes, ten minutes call. See whatever progress you can uh, get there, okay? And uh, so let's say if you tried all those things and it's still dead. So I'm just like hitting this point about like, what do you do if the person is not responding, okay? This may happen uh, in the first time, right? So believe it or not, even right after the shahada, when you're trying to get the first meeting, this happens, right? And sometimes it happens after a few meetings. So whenever it happens, you need to be ready, okay? So if, if there's still no response, what do you do then? Right? Do you just like forget about him or her or what do you do? So here's what I suggest you do. So, you know, so if you have been messaging the person on Tuesday evening, let's say, you know, try to change the time, you know, maybe try weekend, try week. If you have been trying weekend, try a weekday. If you've been trying evening, try morning, whatever, just change it up. Uh, if you have been trying to contact that person weekly, which is what we advise, uh, and now move that person to a monthly. Okay, so you need to be able to, again, do your own uh, planning, right? So what I do in my phone book, I have a way to, uh, to determine or, or I have a way to basically uh, code people, right? So people who I'm following up with daily or month or weekly or people who I'm following up with basically uh, once a, one second. Okay, so people I'm following up with daily and people who, have, who I'm following up with weekly or monthly. So you can move that person to once a month. So I have a reminder that comes in on maybe the first weekend or the first Thursday of the month and I follow up with people who I've moved on to monthly. Okay, and why is this important? Because look, people change, right? So right now, let's say the person is busy. You know, after a month or two, the person may say, you know what, that's fine, let me get on a call. So each time I'm reaching out, I'm trying to get the person to meet me or to get on a phone. And what do we do after? We're gonna talk about it. But right now, the goal is to get the person to communicate with you, to talk to you, okay? And as I said, look, you know, this becomes a challenge, right? Many people think that the challenge with new Muslim is that they are asking too many questions or they have a lot of questions. It's not like that. It's to get them to talk to you or it's to get them to think about Islam and to make progress about Islam, okay? So the reason I'm saying this is, look, I have many people and we'll see some examples today, inshallah, um, that have actually, you know, come back to Islam or have started talking to us after a year or after six months. So had we like left them, you know, we are losing out an opportunity. Obviously, you know, Allah will revive them with someone else or, you know, Allah will, Allah will give everyone what they deserve. But the question is, what are you going to do, right? What role would you play? Would you play a proactive role or you don't care? Right. So, you know, putting them on, you know, on a monthly follow up actually does help. So I have had people. Right. You know, so, for example, I had some new Muslim mentors uh, who were who were new in the team and I gave them a contact. They said, well, he's not responding. So I'm done. OK. Now, the same person, I alhamdulillah, have revived a relationship with him. And you're going to see like some of his achievements and some of his habit share stuff. So. Again, things happen, right? You just have to be patient. As we said, be a gardener. Some land will take longer and some land will be faster. Okay. Now, finally, what else you can do is, uh, as a, you know, you can also try to switch up things, right? So if one was you can switch up like time, 
right? Uh, from weekend to weekday and whatnot. You can also try to approach a different approach. So if you have been contacting them via WhatsApp, try SMS, try calling them, try emailing them. So this is all work. I'm not just making things up. This is all work. And then finally, let's say if nothing works, give, and this is, again, we have done this in our team, right? So let's say it may, it may not work because the person is now shy. They're like, you know what? I have not been responding to this person for six months or three months or three weeks. I feel shy to connect with them, right? Uh, or, you know, maybe it's not a good relationship. There's not a good connection. So what we do is, you know, you give the person, you say, you know what, uh, if, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Uh, I think I will pass your contact to another member of our team or a senior member or a manager, whatever, right? And, you know, uh, perhaps that may be a good relationship for you. And then after a month or after a few weeks, the new, the new coach contacts them, right? You can say, hey, I'm a senior coach or I'm the manager. Uh, we understand that things got busy with, uh, you know, coach XYZ. And I'd like to, you know, see if we can get on a call and restart our relationship. I'd love to know about you and see what's going on, what's on your mind. Okay, when can we get on a call, right? So that's another thing that you can uh, do. So this is, again, you know, from a mindset and culture perspective. Okay, so... Again, uh, mindset issues for co coaches are you are getting bored, right? Because there's no action. He's not responding. She's not responding. Or you're getting disheartened. So remember the, the life of the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? He was consistent. He was going out again and again, inviting people. You know, it's not like a walk in the park, okay? And it's, it's going to be disheartening, but it's going to have a lot of reward, okay? Another issue with the coaches is they are thinking that, you know what, I'm, I don't want to push. Well, you're not pushing. You're doing the dawah. Right? There's a difference. Look, first of all, the person has agreed to this relationship, okay? And it's not that you're messaging them every hour, you're messaging them every day, you know? You're messaging them once a week or once every two weeks or once a month. Is that really pushing? So don't let shaitan deceive you. Look, on my phone here, I asked for a gym membership, right? And, uh, you know, I, I inquired about their time or something. I filled a form on the, on the website. Now, this guy keeps calling me every other day or perhaps every day right so that he can sell me a membership okay so that's maybe like you know too much like you're calling me every day look here you're just messaging them once a week or and you're also like you know you have you have established that relationship in the first meeting you talked about it what is this relationship about right um okay so again you know think about yourself as a gardener as someone who reminds and in the worst sense, case if you still think that you are being a bother just ask them hey you know what do you think i'm i'm bothering you uh, you know where, where I'm coming from. Many people say, you know, I really appreciate you checking in on me and so on and so forth. And actually they don't think like that you are pushing them and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is basically the first part, you know, your mindset. Uh, how do we revive a relationship? How do we follow up? How do we get them on a call? Okay, so uh, now next thing we'll talk about is like, okay, what do we talk about in this, uh, in this call? Basically, once you get them on a call.